Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to teach you the buses, the motherboard buses and of course you're going to learn how to track signals and voltages in every motherboard. So let's get started. Okay. All these are buses. You can use these buses to know the connection between the component. For example, if you look to these two capacitors, these two capacitors are connected together as you can see here. These two capacitors are connected together. Why? Because we have this bus here that connects between this. Let's check these two capacitors. Let's check this. So let's check this capacitor. Okay. As you can see, we have a continuity bus. Why? And you know that these two capacitors are connected together directly from the motherboard without using the schematic. Why? Because I know how to use the buses, so the buses is a circuit in the motherboard. For example, we have here a bus, you can follow it like this. From this point, it goes to this point, okay? When you find a point like this means this bus goes to the other side of the motherboard, okay? Do you see here? Do you see here? We have a big bus, this is this can take 19 volts as you see from this point here, as you can see, goes directly where to this point here, as you can see. Okay, I have here this IC as you see. Do you see the extension here? So avoid avoid to take measurement here because you can do a short circuit. But if I want to take measurement, for, for example, between these two, I can look for the extension of this pin. This is its extension in this resistor. We can check, as you can see. And for this, its extension is here. Okay? For this, its extension is here, because these two pins are connected together, as you can see. If you look for this diode, for example, because here we have diode, do you see this part or this terminal of diode? As you see, connected to this point here. Because I follow this bus. Okay? So this resistor, as you can see, this small resistor here, do you see it? It's connected, as you see, if I track this to this point, as you can see, I have here a continuity. But you cannot imagine if you don't have the path here. You cannot track where this resistor goes. Okay? And if I, I see the other side of the motherboard, I can't find this point in the other side of the motherboard. So let's check. As you can see, we have the point here. Okay? So this point goes where? So goes to this resistor, as you can see here, and also goes here to this VGA connector. Okay? Mean if you have problem with this VGA connector, as you can see, you can check this resistor, because this resistor, as you can see, connects it to this point, and then this point to the VGA connector. So, if we put one probe here, and check here, we will find a continuity in one pin of the VGA connector, as you can see. Here, as you can see. This, because this resistor is connected to this point, and then this point in the other side connected to this pin here. Okay? So that's why you should understand how to track signals. For example, this diode. This diode also is for the VGA connector. You know why? Because we have this part here. This diode is connected to this part, as you can see here. Why? Because we have this part or this bus, as you can see here. We have this bus here. Okay? And then in the other side, it is connected directly to this resistance. Why? Because I have this part also here. And then this resistor or this capacitor. Here, if you focus here for this port, this is an old port, a parallel port. Here we have many capacitors, as you see. This capacitor, for example, is connected to this port and also connected to this pin.
for this it is connected to the spin this for the spin etc as you see this is extensions here for example we have this mosfet so this mosfet all these are the same part i can automatically understand this these two capacitors are connected together why because we have the same color here same part and also this capacitor is connected to this mosfet as you can see why because we have the same as you can see path but this capacitor are not connected to this why because we have here another color as you see here we have here a bridge another color okay and this this is the gate the gate is connected directly to this point but not connected to this and here for example what we see here these two capacitors are connected together as you can see why because we have the same color and also connected to these two points as you can see and here from here this capacitor is connected to this diode why because we have the same the same path this diode here this is the plus or the anode and here we have the cathode is connected to why to this mosfet why because we have the same path as you can see same path this MOSFET is connected to this capacitor, as you see. The source evidence of this MOSFET is connected to this capacitor. Okay? For example, for this diode here, this diode, diode is connected to what? To this? No. Here we have a bridge or another color. Let's follow this, as you can see. So it is connected here to the drain of this MOSFET because we have here the same color, same path. Okay? But for source of this MOSFET, it is connected to this capacitor same path okay so this is how you can track the signals so i want to add that using the schematic in the troubleshoot is one of the very important things that every te technician can need during repairing but if you understand the steps that i teach you in this lecture and in the previous lecture and also I will teach you in the next lecture you can troubleshoot locate and repair any motherboard without any schematic you can just use the paths or the buses as you can see here that is drawn or designed in the motherboard and you can understand easily the components that are connected to each other and the other components that are not connected to each other okay so in every circuit you can know the connection or the relation between components using just the buses so this is it guys thank you very much and please don't forget to like the video share it with other people that are interested like you and please don't forget to subscribe for anyone who does not yet subscribe for incoming videos thank you very much and see you in the next video and please for anyone who want to join me in the patreon page you are very welcome there i share a very unique content and laptop schematics you are very welcome and thank you again